Hello, sweet friends. I am so glad that you are here today. If you're returning, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Tracy and I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm, just like today's project. I love to do all kinds of different country crafts, including wreaths that I do design for a local gift shop in my hometown. And so I like to share them here on my channel just to, uh, you know, give some tips and tricks of things that I've learned along the way. And I hope that you enjoy it as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this wreath, I am using these two 10 inch meshes that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I just rolled them out on my mat and cut them at 12 inches, uh, each one of those. And then to attach them to my wreath frame, I'm just using the cruffle uh, technique where it's kind of uh, folded on one side and then I just clip it, then I fold it on the other side and then kind of like uh, ruffle it up in the middle and uh, then just uh, hold it with my little clips. And so I like to, you know, do a whole bunch of these and then I will attach them to my 14 inch wreath frame with a pipe cleaner. I just had three more sets to go so that's why I wanted to show you how I put the last three together on my 14 inch wire frame. Now uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just crisscrossing them or making an X uh, out of them because that is how I tie them onto my frame. All right so I'm just using some pipe cleaners and um, what I did guys is I just attached these straight to the wire frame just on those two, uh, you know, outer wires. And then I did like a zigzag pattern, you know, go on the outer wire and then on the inner wire and then on the outer wire. So I ended up uh, putting 20 bundles on this 14 inch wire frame. For my next layer, I'm using this 10 inch window pane mesh. Now this is like a gold or a yellow color and I'm also cutting it at 12 inches. Uh, I started with five first, but then it uh, didn't go all the way around the wreath. So I ended up cutting three more for a total of eight of these uh, window pane meshes. And um, what I'm gonna do is just insert them around the wreath just to give it some yellow color. And so what I'm doing with this is I am folding one edge and then I just ruffle it up. I fold the other edge and kind of make a ruffle for, you know, this, uh, for this layer. And so then I'm just kind of spacing them out the way that I kind of see fit. And, uh, like I said, I used eight of these 12 inch, uh, window pane meshes as well. For those curious to know where I got this a window pane mesh, it came from Craft Outlet. This sign is uh, from Flora Supply Frenzy on Facebook. And so what I'm gonna do is use my uh, cable ties to, I'm gonna glue them to the back of the sign. This sign is metal uh, and it has two holes in it, but I, this is my favorite way to attach signs to my wreaths now. Um, they're sticky, but I reinforce it with some E6000 as well as some hot glue. And then I just thread the pipe cleaners through it. I just kind of, you know, twist them on the ends and then I have a longer, you know, pipe cleaner to attach to my wreath. 
these are some of the ribbons that I'm using here in this wreath and I was looking for something to go with that yellow and white check and it hit me yes I had this two and a half inch uh, uh, black and burlap stripe that I wanted to use and that came from Flora Supply Frenzy as well and so um, here I'm just kind of showing you I cut all of the ribbons at 13 inches and then now I'm going to show you kind of what my um, like uh, just a tip that I learned along the way to kind of help myself in uh, when I'm ready to go to attach the ribbons to my wreath I just um, have them ready to go as far as like I have my two patterns I like to use a two and a half inch and a one and a half inch together and then I just fold them in half and have them ready to go to pick up now this one right here this um, zigzag yellow and then the burlap with the uh, buffalo check on the ends um, let's see that yellow with the rickrack came from craft outlet and that burlap with the um buffalo check on the ends came from hobby lobby and so then um these this set is the only two and a half inch um, that i'm using in this wreath but otherwise the other um, sets are a two and a half inch and a one and a half inch i didn't have any other one and a half inch that i liked um, you know, cause sometimes it, I really want to use a ribbon and if I can't find a one and a half and a two and a half inch to match it, cause that's my favorite combos. Um, I will end up using two, two and a half inch together. I hope that makes sense anyway, but just to help myself is I'm just, um, you know, pairing these all up, bending them in the middle. So that way, when I want to put them into my pipe cleaner, I have them ready to go. Now I'm putting on my sign and I just thread it through the mesh all the way to the frame and then uh, those pipe cleaners I just attach it just twist it around the frame.
This is the wire I like to use right now for making a hanger for my wreaths. And I find this in the floral supply section of any store, or you can get it off of Amazon or something like that. And I just twist it around and, uh, you know, make a loop and this twist it to the frame so that everything is nice and secure. These are the florals and greenery that I'm using in this wreath. The first one came from uh, Walmart and the lemons and the small greenery with the yellow flowers came from Michaels. So I just snipped all of those off and then used my steel picks machine to put the small steel picks on the edge. Uh, I like the extra security that it gives uh, when I glue the greenery into my wreath. So then I've just sporadically placed the greenery around this wreath, securing it with hot glue. Those steel picks uh, just, like I said, give me extra security. It's not something that you need. It's just something that I have and I want it to use. And then I will glue my lemons around, um, you know, around the sign as well, around the wreath. And so I just love the way that this is all coming together. I, at first I was going to put a bow on it, but once I finished putting all the greenery and the lemons, I decided not to put a bow on it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and your kind comments. Uh, if you're not subscribed, if you've made it to this part of the video and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.